Hi everybody, that was hilarious. <laughs> if you saw that a couple of minutes ago, that was really funny. How <laughs> it, it pushed up. <laughs> anyway, okay, many blessings. Welcome to the 28th of March, um, 2020. Um, hi Helen, hi everybody. Um, I'll just give you a couple of minutes to kind of get your tea i have a hot tea we really need to drink hot teas right now um it's andrea Fox. welcome to the corona times <sighs> a lot a lot to be saying um i'm not really sure where to start um there are different timelines running okay and there are different narratives of how you can perceive these timelines and what's running on the planet the reason i'm streaming this on my past life regression page is obviously in the uk i am known for being on the tv doing past life regression um so in some ways although i did work on television i was doing past life regression and it's about timelines and I truly, from my heart, want the best for the collective, for all of humanity. It's not service to self, it's for the best for humanity and for planet Earth. Um, at the same time, all of us have to look after ourselves at the same time. We can't overgive to others and we can't try and awaken others out of this agenda if they can't see it. You know, we can only suggest. And also, I would like to say, before anybody says I'm attacking the NHS staff, I am not. The NHS staff are doing an amazing job. However, the NHS staff don't know who they're really working for. In their hearts, they're working for humanity. They're working because they genuinely believe that they are helping humanity in a pandemic crisis on the planet. However, the coronavirus, as I said in my other videos, and this will be video four, so if you look back, there's video one, two, three, so if you want to get up to speed on all of it, it's all out there. It was declassified on the 19th of March 2020 as a highly infectious disease in the UK. It was no longer classified as a highly infectious disease, okay? So... March is naturally a time in the UK where there are more deaths in the UK in March. I don't know the minutiae detail of that, but that's the statistics. More people die in March than any other time of the year. Now, you could go on the government's website and download your own Excel spreadsheet of the deaths week because they do them weekly. So you can do it weekly from 2019 to 2020 and you can see what they were registered as dying at now i'm not saying there might not be a planetary spike in the next few days in the next few days if what i believe in my heart has been stopped is not true okay the effects potentially of psychological trauma of being locked up for a long time is going to start to take its toll on the on the species okay it's going to weaken your immune system and they are spraying something because i live near a military base and i live near glastonbury and when i went in my garden the other day the air was like putrid like <gasps> for a few days now if you're open to the really wooey wooey spiritual stuff there's a galactic battle been going on for the last however minutiae but it's really ramped up the last few days and there was an aerosol spray top off a, a, like an industrial aerosol I could go and get it but I don't really want to touch it but I'll photograph it and I will show it you later in my garden and the air was not easy to breathe however I do believe those effects can be overcome by you know drinking and some other alternative things um, so our breathing may well be affected during these times. Now, the question to all of us is, is this a magnetic solar flip, which happens every 26,000 years anyway? As in, if you look at Golbe Tepe, Easter Island, the pyramids, that happened in all the ancient civilizations. I have also been posting about the gentleman who explained about radiation when a planet goes through a shift in a cycle and the side effects of that of what happens to a physical body so on one agenda timeline maybe that's the truth that we are just going through a natural planetary ascension and our bodies are going from carbon to silica but to do that to stay on this planet in that experience you have got to be in your heart 
any panic, any fear, if it were shifting dimensions, you literally manifest what you think. So not everybody is experiencing the same reality. They're experiencing what they believe and what they're a vibrational match to. So if they've been watching television and they've been reading the newspapers, depending on who owns that newspaper, you will be getting that narrative. Now, let's go back to the clues. At the beginning of the corona times, Boris Johnson in the UK, we're going to deal with the UK to begin with, Boris Johnson would speak from a podium with the crest of the UK, which would be the lion wearing a crown and the unicorn would be in chains, okay? As this agenda has moved on over the last few weeks, and in my theory, the galactic wars have started taking place and the interfighting between different families and different um, who's going to own the masses kind of thing, um, the crest went away and the royal family to a certain degree have disappeared and although we saw the clapping from the children now the podium now only says NHS the same thing happened in America the shield of America disappeared as well we no longer saw the shield I think they have the eagle don't they that disappeared that's that's not on any of their podiums now in my heart and I I I believe that Trump is good. I believe he's taking out the deep state and all the paedophiles. Now, most of us believe there have been paedophiles on the planet. And I know as a therapist, I can genuinely say for sure I have worked with clients. I'm not just believing the media saying, oh, there are paedophiles on the planet. No, I've had clients who've been sexually abused. That has gone on. Um, I believe there's been child trafficking gone. I don't just believe this is the media telling us there's been child trafficking. Now, the reason I'm saying this is they want your emotional energy, okay? Whatever this game is, whether it's people trying to take your energy or you need to stabilize your energy in a timeline shift, okay? You have to remain in your heart. The only thing I've ever known in 20 years of knowing that I would be here in this time of the timeline shift. And I always knew my job would be to say, stay in your heart, remain calm, stay in your heart, remain calm. Whether that becomes your mantra, stay in your heart, remain calm, stay in your heart, remain calm. All is good, all is good. Now, at the same time, I don't want anybody to be vaccinated or injected against their wishes and their free will. I don't want anybody to be locked up in their house under laws that are draconian if it is not for your highest good and for the good of all of humanity because globally something's happening that is for our own well-being to be put inside. Now if that's true then that's a good thing but I'm st I, I never believed that that's true because initially Boris is saying, I haven't washed my hands. I've been shaking hands with everybody. That was when we saw the, the lion and the unicorn, okay? Now, since then, since the lion and the unicorn have gone and he's obviously not speaking on behalf of, of that, he's now speaking on behalf of the NHS, which is owned by the Rothschilds. Now, the Rothschilds, I don't think necessarily run the world. They're another front family for an, other people behind them. Now, that might come as a surprise to people, but I think they're a facade that you see to want to hate. Um, I don't think they're particularly the greatest people, no. Um, but they have an agenda and their agenda is the same as the Wellcome Foundation and Bill Gates globally. And they all seem to be, seem to be in agreement that humanity needs to be chipped and um, vaccinated. Um, I don't believe that humanity needs to be chipped and, and vaccinated. I have a question mark over whether 5G is going to affect us. Now they're rolling out 5G globally and it seems from everything that we can see, all the maps that we can see, a lot of these cases of people who have had symptoms. So I'm not denying that there are people going to hospital perhaps with breathing difficulties and some other side effects. Now, are those the side effects of a planetary shift that would happen anyway if we've shifted dimensions? The magnetic energy field in your body will be affected if we have gone through a planetary vibrational shift. You will get symptoms until you stabilize your energy in a new frequency. Hence why you're being treated a bit like little children to slowly venture out a little bit to acclimatize your energy field to that shift, okay? 
that's one narrative that could be a reality the other reality is that you know they want you inside so that it's easy to round you up and chip you um also i did post a video and i don't want anyone to be scared when they see that video and she did sound like just a regular normal person who saw men in suits white suits I posted that video on my other page um a few minutes ago and she looked like a lady who was like the police had come they're going to take this and they were all in white suits going to take this man away and they were shoving letters under the doors saying he died and she said he didn't die I just saw him walk out I know he wasn't feeling great but he wasn't dead um so you can see that video now don't go into fear or anxiety because I have a feeling that all this is frequency compatibility okay because I went out a few days ago and there were police and it kind of spooked me you know I was like whoa police the world's changed overnight since I got locked in my house and then I ventured out to the supermarket everything had changed within like minute by minute hour by hour things are really changing so I was a little bit shocked and also I felt the air was a bit like something weird in the air there's helicopters going over now but that's because I live near a military base um so anyway I get home and I feel this tightness in my chest like holy shit what is that and then one of you lovely Helen helped me to clear it with white calf buffalo woman <laughs> energy spirit that helped me but I was already saying get off me get off me because I thought there were these like negative energies and then I stabilized my breathing I stabilized my energy and it took me four hours to stabilize my energy to stabilize my breathing and I'm fine now I'm fine that's what I'm saying now if you're a regular 3d person and you don't know any of that and you had what I experienced outside holy moly you're gonna be ringing 999 and think you're dying if you don't know how to get this dark energy off you because maybe they could come down on you when because it's frequency compatibility if you went into fear or anxiety in a sensitive time while you're going through a pole shift, maybe there are no dark beings and maybe it was just my panic attack at seeing police and seeing us being controlled as a species, you know, could be that. Or was it that actually there are dark forces around and they were trying to grab me um, and I managed to stabilize my energy and for that not to happen to me? You must decide which narrative you want to believe. Whichever narrative you decide in the Corona times becomes your reality, okay? So also, we also believe QAnon, Google that if you're not up to speed on that. That's where Trump is going to take down the deep state feel like that's happening I've been watching live streams from um the uh White House and I've really been enjoying that hold on I just have a sip whatever's going on you need to drink warm water to keep moist and also dip your hands in lavender I've been using lavender bowls of water in my house I've got lots of tips on your health and well-being on my other videos for this time like I think a magnetic energy field has shifted now whether that as i keep saying is that a natural planetary shift of ascension or is it the side effects of 5g even though they haven't rolled out completely the 5g in the uk they're trying to do it now in all the cities while you're all locked up when i had a little drive around they're all digging the roads to put 5g in and I think they've rolled out 5G in Bristol now and Liverpool and Bath because people sent me pictures of that. Whether they fl flicked the switch and turned it on, I don't know. But what they were chemtrailing is maybe to, to affect what happens when they finally flick that switch on. And they don't, they don't really know what's going to happen to you. They know what happened in China and they know what happened in Italy, if that's to be believed true. I'm going to look at all your comments in a minute. Now they know it might affect you, might affect some of you. Now I believe that Trump is working really hard to stop them turning on the 5G and also to stop them from who owns the banking systems. And I think the Federal Reserve has got changed over. I'm not knowledgeable on all this, so I'm trying to give you information. And I may not appear to be saying the correct information in the minutiae detail. Hold on, I'm trying to get into my computer now to give you the best knowledge that I can. But what I do know for all of us, you have to remain calm and you have to decide which narrative you want for your reality. Now, oh, that radio's turned on again. Do you remember whenever I do my live stream, this radio turns on? Hold on one second, I will be back.
I'm back. Now, I'm going to look at all your comments and you can help each other with all your comments. So you're all going to be reading each other's comments and you can decide for yourself. Now, I want to talk briefly about my experience that when I went out yesterday. So when I went out yesterday, it was clear, the air was clear, it felt nice. I went to Wells, I went to go to the supermarket and there was a queue, so I thought I'll have a walk. So I had a walk, it was all very pleasant. The, the water looked nice, the ducks were out, the swans were out, it was all very pleasant. Everyone was social distancing. I tinged the fairy bell in, in Wells and I went to go um, to Waitrose. So I queued up and there wasn't much of a queue and people were social distancing. And I thought, oh, I want the loo, I can't wait in this queue. So I said, please may I go to the toilet? And the very nice young man who kind of is looking a bit like fluffy security, like that's what made me question it. It's his first job and he's like this fluffy, cute little blonde haired kid. And um, he was like, yeah, you can go to the toilet. And so I came back out and I got in line and played the game, you know, it was game playing. So then I go in and there's all these new employees. I go in Waitrose all the time. They're all new. And I said, oh, I've never seen you before. And they went, oh yeah, I work here two days a week. Oh, I've never seen you before. And so, and also the customers look new. I, because you know, you go to a supermarket and I don't go at the same time to the supermarket whenever I go all kinds of different times. And it isn't the biggest supermarket. So I'm thinking all these people look new in my narrative. Even when I walked around town, there were new people. I did see one girl I knew and we had a brief talk because she was in the cook shop that sells these packaged foods things that sometimes I get to help my parents. So I don't want to digress too much. So that was my experience of that reality. The bike shop was open, all very pleasant. People buying bicycles. Like, oh, so now the bike shop is allowed to be open and we can buy bicycles. Bicycles seemed quite expensive, but that's the narrative. We're allowed a bicycle now. Okay. And then I came back home again and I'd spoken to a client on Skype. So my life wasn't that unusual yesterday, but now there's a massive wind starting up here um, where I am. And I'm going to go out for my walk. But I also see that they're now letting flights happen. Um, so that's a weird, a weird thing. Um, I'm just going to read your comments now because I want to see if anybody's saying anything that we need to address. Hold on one second. Let me just get to my page. Now, with Trump taking down the deep state, if you go to see what they're saying, you can look on his um, latest from Trump. I think it's good to look at Trump for the narrative and then you've got the UK narrative. You know, like Bobo's now apparently got the corona virus and he's having a rest so we're led to believe um you know i'm not sure what i think about him in particular i'm not particularly keen on the other man who seems a bit like a robot that's speaking on behalf of him now um so let's have a look and see but all the same no matter what's happening no matter what narrative it is i think we've got to stay in love got to stay in our heart and the thing is, though, even if this is even if this is just a planetary shift and awakening and or if it is the deep state and all the dark people are being taken out, humanity are going to have massive trauma. And we who are watching this now and are a bit more awake than they are, this is going to be crisis time for our families who are asleep because they're going to still want to be following the 3D narrative that has ended. Now, some of them may just have naturally made the shift because they stayed in their heart and they didn't panic about any of this. They docilely went along with it. And then all of a sudden we make the timeline shift and we all go back to normal and they'll be fine. Um, however, in the timeline shift, if it is just a timeline shift, okay, you will still be given the option because if it is genuinely a timeline shift and it is just for the love of humanity to protect humanity, okay, you wouldn't have to be injected, you wouldn't have to be vaccinated, but you'd have to keep offering the people that opportunity because that was their narrative and it would freak them out too much if you went, you know what, you don't need that, you just need some homeopathic remedies and you need to take some herbs and you'll all be good, it'll be good. They'd be like, what, this is crazy, crazy, what are you saying now, I can heal my body. And like, yeah, you don't need to pin and plate your ankle, you know, I healed my ankle. It's like, no, you just need a plastic cast, maybe not even that, maybe you just need to manipulate it back into place, zhuzh, it's fixed. How do you, you know, all that operation, you don't need that anymore. You just need to clear your emotional energy field and you'll be good. Now, we all know that, okay? But can you imagine?
imagine telling that to people who are have been asleep they think it's like this is insanity they'd be starting to get angry and ranting and you know you don't need to be eating those things anymore why do you want to eat that processed food look here's some nice new vegetables and some organic food that's what we're going to sell now they are going to find this shift very very challenging you know but when I was out, everyone was polite, everyone was nice, everybody said hello, but everybody did keep their distance. So let me just go and see what you're writing. Um, it does look like the, the finances and, and the banking cartel got flipped in the last few hours. Because um, somebody posted about that and I posted that on my other page on Andrea Faux. And hold on one second so I can just see what you're writing. Um, hold on one moment. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to do a lovely meditation. Um, and Michelle's offering a drum circle. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously this virus has been declassified. And when you watch American government's website, okay, and you watch the UK government, nobody's wearing gloves. They're all squished up together because it was streaming live from the American government that you could watch them before Trump came to talk to you. So they're all chatting with each other or they're all squashed up really close. As we can see from the narrative, none of the employees in what are called the key workers now, the key workers, um, although they're saying they're going to have shields put up in the next few weeks, um, you know, it has been declassified. Everybody knows that it's not really a big deal. It might be like the flu. So maybe they're telling you the coronavirus is the coronavirus when actually it's just the planetary ascension energy and that's what happens to you and they need to stabilize your energy and your frequency because some of you, your bodies can't go through that carbon to silica change and then if they whack on 5g let's say 5g was a positive thing they whack on 5g you would poof up maybe you needed time to get your electromagnetic static out of your body because when when i went out maybe four days ago now the static was like holy moly static it was like being in sedona in arizona and you have to drink all the experiences of the dry skin and all that were exactly what happens in sedona um okay so let's just remain positive joy 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 happiness happiness we're creating an amazing happy timeline of joy for ourselves and we're certainly creating one of love and caring and freedom for all of us freedom for all of us now so what is happening we don't know about the statistics i think they might be fudging the numbers on the statistics um as I said, the NHS was owned previously, or still is, who knows, things are changing by the minute, was owned by the Rothschilds. Um, and their agenda, you know, was, it, it, homeopathy has been banned. You can go on the government's website and see that the current CEO of the NHS is anti-homeopathic remedies, and that's why it's got a lot harder to buy those, because um, they legislated against it. Um, I think Trump is put more for all natural remedies and help. And these people have been controlling the masses for a long time. Now, there's some of the stuff I know I don't want to say because people are going to watch this video who are fairly new to this. And if I start talking about adrenochrome blood and stuff like that, they're going to start freaking out because they've never known about any of this stuff. And so in some kind of way, as a help to our asleep friends that are newly waking up and are out of love and kindness and compassion to them, do they really need to know the full story if it's going to crash their energy field? If, if it's going to send them after they've been locked up for days and then you start telling them the truth of what's happened on a planet, and they're like bunnies in a headlight, um, that could actually collapse their whole energy field if they go into mass terror and fear and trauma and psychological, they've already been psychologically mind controlled by being locked up and having lost their freedom. Depends how you react to it. Now, in past lives, when I've taken people to past lives, okay. Now, sometimes when in a past life, say they were a temple maiden to a priestess. Now, in past lives, if you were a temple maiden to a priestess, you got locked into the chamber with her when she died and they would um, 
she would be put in you know like a chamber and it would be sealed and you would be in it as, as her temple maiden and there would be food in there and when the air dried died out or the food you'd die with her but you went in with her um when you were alive to help her travel to the next dimension or realms that was the beliefs we all had in that previous timeline now it's interesting because over over time see I've watched the numbers go. The minute I started talking about past lives, the numbers drop down, which is sad because this is what I do for a living and it all ties into the bigger story and you're gonna miss the key point of the story if you go now, but that's your free will. That's your free will to tune out and not get the full narrative. And that's why I started with the main 3D info. That's why I gave you in that way. And now I'm going into the spiritual perspective. So if you start to tune out now, you're gonna miss out on the key point to it so bear with it even if you're like oh I don't like past lives that why are you following me you know don't follow me if you don't believe in that because somewhere in you you know that what I'm saying is the truth you know you've died you know you've reincarnated and you know can come back again and this is just a game and you chose to be here so in the past life when the temple maiden was in the thing with the priestess I've seen different, di same situation, different perspective, which kind of reflects to what we're experiencing now, okay? So in one lifetime, the lady was sat there and she's like, I am going to die with my priestess. It is an honor for me to die with her. The other one was like, I don't want to be locked in here. I don't want to die for her. Arr! So she died angry. Okay, so the one who was like in her heart was love. I was so happy. It was an honor for me to die with her. She was calm and peaceful, you know? So really, what I'm trying to get across with that point is what reality you experience is frequency compatible. And someone's saying she was a temple maiden and she died in the past life. So in these past lives now, okay, the other thing that I really want you to hold tight to now, now those of you who've reacted to being locked up, um, in a way that's given you fear, anxiety, rage, anger, its potential is that some of you will start to trigger the cell memory from other lifetimes where you were maybe in the bubonic plague, you were in the famine, you were in other lifetimes where you were tortured, and you may start to show symptoms of those lifetimes. Now, what if this whole thing of the NHS being there now we know the people who are working there have a good agenda but their training has been in the allopathic medicine not in the loving you know complementary medicine that we know your mind creates everything so if these people are in a timeline pole shift energy triggering because they're oscillating between different timelines their physical body could be taking on the traumas of the other timelines that they've lived in that they haven't cleared because they've never done any emotional inner journey work on themselves so perhaps all the people who are really freaking out and end up getting carted off to the hospitals with breathing issues and other side effects are actually triggering their cellular memory of other lifetimes, but they don't know how to go into it. So they're dashing off to the hospital to stabilize their breathing. And perhaps, you know, some of them are gonna die because you can die from a panic attack and anxiety. It'll give you a heart attack. And if you've got underlying health conditions that you haven't cleared anyway, that could take you out. You know, that is what's happening. Now, whether that is genuine or whether those people are being siphoned off to another planet and the adrenochrome story might be true, I don't know. But we're trying to stop that narrative and that's why I'm just calling it that because if people are watching and they don't know anything about that, they'll go and Google that word and then that will be their gentle awakening to that knowledge without me telling them the whole story now, okay? The whole story now because it's too much for your brain to take on. You'll have a, an emotional collapse because it's like, holy moly, I was just living 3D, drinking Coca-Cola, going to McDonald's, you know, doing my little regular job. They don't know if the truth is we're being freed now and there has been a planetary battle and the people who were controlling the, the masses have been taken out and we're given our freedom. People who don't know what to do with freedom won't know what to do. 
you know they'll be like holy moly i've got so much freedom now wow what what do i do you know how do i take responsibility for my health and well-being so they're going to need our assistance and help you know they're going to need to be gently guided like little babies back into the world of like this is what you do when you are now taking responsibility for yourself and you have the freedom to choose for yourself and maybe some of those things that you thought were previously there are kind of going to take some time to adjust to the new earth because all the things you were addicted to which weren't helping you anyway um have been removed now and now it's a completely different world where you have to come from the heart you know and then when i went in waitrose right i started to think what if they're making us queue two meters apart to just honor our energy fields okay so it's the story you put on it what if that's to honor each person's energy field and it's by invitation that we decide to touch each other or not but right now because we can't be trusted because what if we've gone through a planetary upgrade and the your electromagnetic energy field isn't stabilized and if you touch somebody else you could get an electric shock off them unless you live in a house and you've synchronized your energy at the same time what if it's to stop you from having an electric shock from each other when that happens? That could be another perspective. Do you see how many perspectives we've got on the Corona times? So, and maybe they're rationing the food because you couldn't be trusted before because you all panic bought. And actually in the supermarket I went into, there was plenty of food and people were acting like they were just buying enough for maybe the next day or two they weren't panic buying they weren't buying lots of stuff they had time to gently walk along more people were cycling everybody seemed to be behaving now i'm not saying that people's bodies might not be affected some people just might not make it through a planetary shift or are they being taken away by the police and the georgia guidestones narrative is a truth and they're culling the population or they knew that the population would be called in a magnetic energy field shift or is it the effects of turning on 5g that they're culling the population and taking them out you have to decide which narrative you want to believe is the truth and when you're in your heart you will find the true narrative and you cannot fake being in your heart i know from the other day when i collapsed on the floor and i had anxiety you know it did feel like beings were attacking me and i had to stabilize my energy and i was being crushed um and it also felt like the air was putrid and i cleared it like boof boof like boof boof you know and so that's what i know you can clear it boof boof you know don't panic you know don't panic you don't need to panic stay at home stabilize your breathing do all the alternative advice that lots of people are telling you to do um and dip your hands in water regularly um i think maybe that's what they're telling you to do wash your hands so you're getting water on your hands because so you don't have static on your body because water takes down static what if all this is just to help you in that narrative there's lots of narratives playing out so i'm sorry if you're offended that i'm not giving you one narrative i'm giving you an option of narratives to choose from but the only narrative that i know out of all the stories that can go with the narrative is you've got to be in your heart you've got to be in love you've got to be in compassion you've got to love yourself and love other beings and you might be really good at loving other people but not very good at loving yourself or you might be good at loving yourself but not caring about other people and we've got to synchronize and balance that energy now so i'm just going to look at the message. i kept saying well, i'm going to look at the messages i really am going to look at the messages so give me two seconds to look at the messages to see if what you're posting we need to address address some of the comments that are really good coming from everybody for some reason it makes it really hard for me to see these comments while they're streaming hold on I've just got to press this button here hold on one second it's not loading on the way I hoped it would hold on one second uh, just gonna load it wait one second I can do here but i have to squint to to see it let me just see if i can do it this way squinting because it might be easier yeah everyone's saying stay in your heart perfect to protect our auric energy field yeah get crystals yeah somebody else got static shock it is the magnetic energy field shifted now the the, the question is is that because of a pole shift or is it because they've whacked up the free the 5g 
and they're trying to pin and chip you and cart you away, you know. Um, that's the question. That's the question. We do know there have been families whose agenda for humanity is to keep you like sheeple and there are galactic wars that have been going on off site of plain vision. It's your free will what you choose to believe. Yesterday the police was removing people from the gardens downstairs but the park was full of people exercising. Wow Patriska, so are you saying that the police were removing people from the gardens where you live was and that was probably central London. Um when you say removing them, can you can you be specific like were they aggressive? Were they touching them? Did what were they doing? You know, or did they politely say it's for your well-being to go home? You know, at the end of the day, I don't want my freedom taken away from me. Um, let's see. Uh, is Patrice writing anything now? Let me just see. Um, how can they chip us up? I mean, the nanoparticles are, are in the air anyway. You could have just breathed in these particles as far as I know. That could be that could be enough to chip you. Breathing in the nanoparticles wouldn't do anything, perhaps, till you whack 5G on, and then that might affect you. I don't know how all these things work. I just know that I can give you a narrative and my job is to tell you to stay in your heart, stay in love. I think whatever they try to roll out, if you're in your heart and you're in love, you can rise your frequency above that reality. And I have the the thought that it flips the timeline so you s appear in a loving timeline. And whether the other people don't appear in your timeline anymore is questionable. You know, I don't know. I don't have the definite 100% truth. Um, oh yes, yeah, smart dust, Assange spoke about it. I didn't know he spoke about it. Okay, so that, that could lead to what I'm getting could be a truth. I think we don't really want 5G is what I'm feeling. And I know that while you're all locked up, they're rolling out 5G everywhere, that I know. So they want you off the road so they can d dig the roads up because it's a lot easier when no one's on the roads. Um, and I do sense there was some galactic war going on. I sense that. Now, some of the people who are not into that kind of stuff and they don't know about, you know, the true history, the Sumerian history of planet Earth, they don't know, they only know the narrative that they were told at school in the history books, which isn't the truth of humanity. And so they're not encoded with the Lumerian codes. They only have the DNA codes as far back as Atlantean times. They don't have Lumerian time codes in their energy field, so they can't activate those. Those of us who do, who were on the planet when this game first started eons ago, you know, I was here at the beginning of this game and that's why I agreed to be here at this timeline shift at the shift of the ages. All the game players who were here at the beginning will be here at the end of the game and everybody will take their part in whatever their role is to assist humanity. Um, and so everybody's here, the good people, the bad people, everything has polarity. So it's your free will who you decide is the good people or the bad people. Do you see how much choice you have? That's why I'm not telling you what to do or what to think. You have to decide for yourself. Um, okay, someone's noticing that the TV commercials in the US are showing 5G towers and pushing 5G horizon. Yeah, they will try to get it up and turning 5G, but I heard that it will fail. Yeah, that's what I heard, that the galactic, like the Pleiadians are stopping the 5G from being activated. That's what I believe. Um, I heard that we're not able to sense the truth until the last minute. Yes, that's probably, that's probably true too. Um, oh yes, I know a man who's not well right now and he seems like a nice guy. I said I'd help him. He's in some hospital somewhere and he was freaking out because when they got there, they, they, they didn't isolate him and he's saying he's got the coronavirus. Now, I don't think the coronavirus is necessarily what they're telling you it is. Um, because they've declassified it. I don't think it is serious. I don't think anybody thinks it's serious because they would have their key workers all suited and booted if it was such a fear to humanity. You know, so this guy has got some other issues going on 
and he might be where they've whacked on the 5G because it's not rolled out everywhere yet or he might have electromagnetic sensitivity to where they've been spraying or he may have just got himself so upset which I think is the case because he seemed like a really nice guy and he's waking up to all this stuff but he's very focused on one timeline of agenda and when you focus on one timeline of agenda and it isn't in you get yourself out of your heart you're gonna have a panic attack and get really sick you know you won't be able to breathe and I think that's what's happened to him because I've kind of gone through these experiences myself and I've seen what happens when you go into rage and anger and when you go into fear and if you can acknowledge that you've got that rage and anger drop into the lifetimes where it comes from and and clear it out and say this isn't who I am my authentic self is in the heart in love I hold a high vibration I will create my reality from love what do I want to visualize outside of myself and so now the question for all of us and and I think this is true no matter what reality is playing out in the corona times is we've got to keep our vibrations high we've got to be giggly 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 you know bing, bing, bing. We've got to giggle, you know, if I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make you giggle, I'm trying to keep you happy. Um, her elderly mum was in hospital last night and came back clear. Uh, okay, Darbo Hospital running as usual. When we went for a walk yesterday afternoon, there was a nasty smell. Yes, this nasty smell, very, very strange. Yeah, very strange, nasty smell. Yeah, like weird smell. Yeah, I can't even describe it because there's nothing I've ever smelt before. Um, and it's in different areas. You know, that's the thing. We're not all, because we're not, we've only got a local reality as well. So we've got local reality. Then you've got vibrational reality. Um, yeah, like Helena's saying high vibe music. Um, so what I would say is everybody try to get in your heart and then see what happens like test it out you know go for your walk go to the supermarket supermarkets the biggest test of everything really because that's where you see the most people you know try when you're fearful and anxious see how it feels when you go out and then try and get in your heart be all zen listen to groovy music meditated you know done all the things you need to do didn't watch the tv didn't read the newspaper you know gave it 24 hour break on that you don't need to know what's happened in the last 24 hours the less i watch that the happier i feel the only one i like watching is trump that makes me joyful watching him. you know and i only watch that for a few minutes mainly i watch to watch what the people who work there are doing and they're all touching each other which makes me laugh <laughs> and remember as we know if you newly joined the coronavirus was declassified as a non-highly infectious disease in the UK on the 19th of March um, 2020 and isn't that funny that it was declassified on the 19th and it's called the 19 energy so that's quite funny so that's on the government's website <clears throat> now let's see what else is going on um, she's making her mum laugh, lots of stuff is going on, um, yeah, no TV required, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, the, <clears throat> the internet may well go down, you know. Mm. Some of us have shared numbers. If the internet goes down, let's just share, you know, a few key people you want to know how they're doing. You don't want to be completely not having anybody's landline. You want somebody to be able to call um, if you have a landline. Um, or you need to agree with somebody who lives near you to just kind of check you're okay and check what's going on because you know that's the dark side of why you're locked in isolation in your little group or on your own that nobody who loves or cares about you um, could check what's happened to you you know that's the dark side of all this so we want to really stay in the positive side we want to acknowledge that there is that fear within us that whoa that is quite scary we're being separated from people we love and not able to contact them because my auntie's locked in a care home right now with um according to my other auntie who fell out with me over it um is in there indefinitely I don't know when they can be let out and it isn't a government legislation that they had to shut the care homes as far as I've googled um, it was just most of the people who own care homes decided to lock the old people in um, and it's only a suggestion to socially isolate the elderly because when I went out all the over 70s were bibby bobbing around in wells walking about so do you see what I mean it's like that is not the absolute truth. These are only guidelines. And the problem that you've got is all the people at home who are, I hate to say it, 
they're not sheeple they're well-meaning they're just lost in the story you know begging to be locked up they're just begging to be locked up and they're policing you that's the problem you've got your neighbor policing you you don't need police it's like george orwell's you know i think it was george orwell 1984 am i right yeah when you've got your neighbor policing you and your family policing you you don't need any police anymore because they'll do the job for you you know the only good thing is they'll be frightened to touch you you know <laughs> um so <laughs> It's very interesting, but we've got to stay in our heart. We've got to see all these narratives that I've just talked about, but you've got to stay in your heart. And I know I've talked very, very fast and quite fast, and I'm now gonna change my frequency and I'm gonna talk really a lot slower. And I'm going to just, yeah, Ian's saying 1984, hi Ian. Um, I'm just gonna say from love, that's what I'm saying. Lots of contradictions. Um, sign us to help what from home um we have a lot of reports in south africa that the internet cables at the sea are faulty and may go down okay so they're going to pull definitely going to pull the internet by the by the looks of it but we collectively us 75 that are watching now it was 80 at 1.5 have gone maybe they had to go to the loo or something but um we are going to use our collective power and and those who are gonna watch this later, okay, we're gonna to join together now because I need all your energy together to create a reality. So we're just going to close our eyes now. I'm gonna do a meditation and a light language. So just take, take a deep breath. We as soul sovereign beings have the power to visualize the reality we want for ourselves, a reality where only love prevails on planet earth and in our own hearts, where we create a loving reality, where we're kind to each other, kind to ourselves, where we live on a planet where we sustain a reality that's loving and allows us our freedom. We have experienced what it's like to have your freedom taken away from us and we don't want that. We never want to lose our freedom. We want to live on a planet that's flourishing with beautiful flowers, beautiful animals frolicking about where we love and honour and respect all living sentient beings on the planet where nobody has authority over us, we maybe vote for somebody who we feel has the biggest heart for humanity, who cares genuinely for the betterment of humanity. Now, somebody may not want that job necessarily, but we will choose somebody not because of money and finance, because as it stands at this moment in time on the 28th of March, it stands that those who fund people become the governments and governments are corporations. We don't want that reality anymore. We want a loving place where people are allowed to know how to heal themselves, where people are allowed to know their power, their own sovereign power to heal anything. And that in truth, when you get sick and ill is just a sign when there is no longer of any of this chemical warfare on the planet or games being played on us, that if you get sick and ill outside of these timelines, that that's because you're out of alignment with who you truly are and that you need to either have the song of your soul sung back to you as they did in the ancient tribes in Africa when everyone was given the song of your soul before you came to this planet the mother would sit under a tree and hear the song of your soul and then she would sing it to the father to be and then she would sing it to the family and to the tribe and whenever you went out of line in that society you would be sung the song of your soul that was all that would happen there would be no arrest or beatings for anything you did out of alignment with love and harmony of the group energy you would just be sung the song of your soul to remind you who you are and in some ways now we read to return to remembering the song of our soul the song of Lumeria to remember what it was to live on a planet in love and harmony and how beautiful it was and how loving and kind it was to all of humanity where we didn't have to lie or deceive to be shown at this point that the fear of going outside and doing something that isn't even the supermarket or going for a walk or maybe going out more than once a day 
has got you in fear and terror that should not be a reality where you're frightened to do something that is your sovereign right to walk freely upon mother earth in love and gratitude to mother earth where you are respectful of all energy and all beings and where you don't curtain twitch and try to control your fellow neighbor where you love them and honor them and respect them and give them the free will to do whatever they wish to do and at this point in life, people are maybe not choosing the most loving choices for themselves, but we show them by what we choose to do and how we shine and how we vibrate. And then they may come to us and ask us what we are doing that makes our frequency so different to them, why we shine so much, what it is that we're choosing and doing that has created that reality. And we show them by example. I show them that I didn't need to pin and plate my ankle and I just needed to use my energy and alternative knowledge to heal my ankle and to visualize it healed. See myself in a future timeline, bobbing about, walking joyfully on the planet with no pins and plates. We don't need these things because if they turned on 5G and an electromagnetic frequency ring and you've got metal in your body, it will have a side effect. We don't want that reality. We don't choose that reality. We choose love, we choose sovereign being, and we choose to forgive ourselves if previously we have made choices that have come from fear and have caused us to be cut open and have operations. We honor and respect that that was where our consciousness was at the time and we didn't know our true power we didn't know how powerful we were to heal ourselves and in this time of transformation and transition now we will have a healthcare system that will reflect this awakening of the consciousness of people and to gently guide them into knowing their power to heal and not to frighten them or fear them and the same with money to be taught that you can manifest whatever abundance it is that you require and it's the ability to do what you need to do when you need to do it to not work excessive hours that take you out of alignment with love and your family and creating a joyful loving life for yourself and your fellow beings on this planet where you have time for hobbies and loving things that are soothing and healing to your soul that we envision that reality this beautiful reality with beautiful loving homes that are sustainable and loving for us all to live in where we can live in joy and harmony with one another and where we care for the betterment of all on this planet and we bring in a light language now to our hearts to stabilize our energies into that frequency of love. that we came here from other places, other dimensions, other levels of existence and that who we are has been hid from us but it's hid no longer and that we will return to the knowledge that was encoded in our DNA at the beginning of time and that those DNA codes can activate and awaken now. The loving DNA codes for all beings who have a soul and call back the fragments of our soul into our being. and that we never fall into forgetfulness again. 
and that we learn from this timeline everything that we needed to experience that will take us to waken, to remember who we are, that what we've been through in the last few days will never ever happen again. And that we are fully anchored in our illuminated bodies of health, well-being and light. And if we are out of alignment that with that, that we are giving ourselves a period of grace to come into alignment with that, a gentleness to rest indoors, to have our fellow neighbours come and help us. We don't have to label that. It's an awakening in Corona in the truest form. Corona is the crown chakra awakening. So we allow that to be kindly, but we don't fear our fellow human. We do what we do from a space of love and grace. And so it is. And so the planet was changed by the people as they awoken to the truth of who they truly were, that they were magnificent beings of light and health and well-being and that they chose their freedom on this planet. They chose to take back their power and the planet rose into a loving being place for all beings on it. And as the children of the light and the children of the planetary ascension and the children of the star seeds, we all remembered who we truly were and we came into love and grace and being. And if you've stayed with me through the whole of this transmission, thank you from my heart. If there's anything you want to share with each other, please post it in the comments. I will upload this. Thank you for being there. Thank you for joining with me. If you've experienced anything you want to share with your collective friends in this post, that would be most beneficial to all. Just stay in our hearts. Let's visualize what we really want for our reality. In the timeline shift of the ages, many blessings. Um, on my website, I have a meditation download, so there's free ones. If you feel you want to buy one, that's your free will. You can do that. Um, all is good. All is wonderful. Many blessings. Thank you for watching. Thank you all so much. Stay in your hearts. We're going to make this a beautiful reality for one and all that choose to be in their hearts. No matter what narrative was the absolute truth. The truth is we return to love. And that's all that really mattered was that we remembered who we were. And we returned to the heart of creation. Bye-bye.